Hi, in this motion picture I will be teaching you guys about timers, sound, and global variables. So, as always, create your function. I'm going to call this flop or or that, you know, whatever. And what we're going to do is we're going to say var circle equals new new circle and we're going to set the radius to 50 and then we're going to do circle dot oops dot set position and you can say get width you can say randomizer dot get int and then get width and you can do this for both um that's wrong it's very wrong don't do that and you can you can put that there but it looks neater and it it's easier to it's easier to read it's like but it looks nicer and that's the important part so we're gonna do var x equals we're gonna control copy that boom and then My keyboard does not like me today. Uh, so, x, comma, y, and then we're going to add circle. And I forgot a semicolon. Now we're going to run this. And this is gonna, as I'm sure you can tell, uh, I did something wrong. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, people. It's next, and even pros make mistakes, as I always like to say. And it's going to place one circle, and that's boring. So we wanted to place multiple circles. So we're going to set this on a timer. Now for your timer you want to hit E and put E right there. And then you want to say set timer. And then PO. And you want to say how long you want to set it. For And these are measured in milliseconds. So for example 2500 milliseconds is two and a half seconds. So I want them to appear once oops one second apart so we have one two three four these are all appearing one second apart but how do you stop it without having to click stop well I want it to get to a certain point that after a certain number of circles are placed it just stops and so we can do that with the use of global variables and global variables are something that you keep constant they they can be used in all functions like these variables are only inclusive to this function they can't be used in any other function but this variable can be used in all functions in your program so we want to say we w first of all we want to say counter plus plus and that is going to add one to the counter and we want to say if the counter reaches five which by that time five circles will be placed we want to say stop 
timer and then FLPO and one two three four five and it stops only five circles were placed and then it stopped the timer now now I'm gonna teach you guys about sound what if you're like oh well I want music to play while it places the circles so we could increase this to let's say 15 because we want our song to play for that long so we're going to call this function song and we're going to say uh... var sound equals to new audio and then you need an mp3 file for example i have one already prepared um, it's called Opus One by Audio Nautics, or that's where I got it from, at least. The creators of these songs, they're freaking amazing. I highly recommend them. You should go check them out. And then we're going to say sound dot play, and this is going to play the sound. And so we want to call song song and this is going to run the song while this places circles now hopefully as you can hear it's playing the song and now I, I'm sick of this song I don't want to hear it anymore so why don't I just hit stop well that doesn't necessarily work so reload the page and it'll stop playing the song and if you want to pause it you want to say eh. you want to say sound dot pause and since you're using this variable in another function you have to make it a global variable so we're gonna put this up here and we're going to run it and since this is now in this we oh no we, we still need that so now once 15 circles are placed on the screen, it should stop. And it stopped. There's 15 circles around the screen, and the song is stopped.